Hello and welcome to this immersive 360 video made by Kulturarv Falbygden. Today we are here in Karleby, just outside of Falköping. And because this is a 360 video, you can look uh, around you. You can look, in fact, if you look to your left right now, you'll see uh, Klövagårdens walkway. And if you look to the right, you have Logårds hill. And if you look up, you will see a sign that tells you how to look around in 360. Go ahead, look up. We are here today in Karleby, a small village just outside Falköping that is located be between the two lakes Vänern and Vätten in Västra Götalands län. Karleby is the Sweden's most complete Stone Age landscape. Along this three kilometers long road through the village there are 11 walkways, monumental family graves built during the peasant Stone Age. In front of you here is Rangvalls Hill. It has a chamber length of 17 meters and is also the largest walkway in the Nordic countries and one of the many graves in Sweden's largest concentration of megalithic graves. And Falbygden holds about three quarters of all megalithic graves in Sweden. The entrance to the chamber is 11 meters long and the chamber itself measures 16 by two and a half meters. The house was once covered by large roof blocks. Three of them are still in place. The mound that partially covers the tomb is 33 meters in diameter and almost two meters high. On one of the roof blocks there are bowl pits and it is believed that they have been used in sacrifices. The name Rangvalls Hill comes from a legend that King Rangvald Knöphövde rode into Västergötland in the early 1130s without having exchanged the hostages. He was therefore killed here in Karleby and the people later thought that the king should have been buried in the parish largest grave. Rangwald Hild has never been excavated, only examined, and when examined they found such objects as flint scrapes and a flint axe. These founds can today be found in Falbygden's museum.